Hi, welcome to this session on prelims preparation in five months. Uh, I am Mudit Jain. I am IRS of batch 2018. Uh, before uh, getting into IRS, I was probationer in Indian Police Service for a couple of batches, that is batch 2015 and 2016. So coming straight to the topic, uh, we have exactly 151 days left for prelims 2020. 2020 prelims are scheduled for uh, 31st May 2020. So that is 151 days, 5 months or you can say approximately 22 weeks. So if you are a newbie or even if you have worked, uh, studied for a while, uh, next 151 days are very important for you. So in this session we will discuss uh, what to study in uh, next 151 days uh, from prelims point of view how to study, how to revise, how many tests you need to solve, uh, do you need to revise tests, uh, which are the test series that uh, you should join, how to uh, examine yourself, that is how to go about test, either you should write full test or what. So these are the broad points that I will try to cover in this session. So firstly I will talk about what to study. Uh, well, as uh, you have only 5 months left if you have just started or even if uh, you started say year back what is needed uh, for you to study is a concise book list as i have also mentioned on my blog that is mudijan blog at wordpress that you need to study a concise book list for example people say that you have to read all the ncrts from say class 6th to 12th and study a number of books from uh, coaching materials but that is not true because if you do so, you won't be able to revise the entire syllabus. If you are not able to revise, then there is no point uh, sitting in the exam because 9 out of 10 times you won't be able to clear it without revision. So the first important thing is you have to revise. For revision, your source material must be concise. So as I have mentioned in the prelims strat strategy A to Z on my blog, the concise material is for ancient and medieval if you are not comfortable with the topic then to try to read it because it is very important UPSC is increasing its focus on ancient and medieval in past few years the questions are getting tricky day by day so what I used to read was Lucent plus uh, 30 page summary uh, few years back Chronicle came with a summary of uh, 30 pages for ancient and medieval that notes are uploaded on my blog so and third source for ancient medieval is uh, Tamil Nadu book. Tamil Nadu board book is very important. It is tough but then you have to read it for ancient medieval or culture uh, because it will help you in mains as well. So this is about ancient medieval. Second part is modern history. Now there are few books in the market for modern history like Spectrum or Bipin Chandra or Lucent GK. But the questions again are getting tricky day by day. So what I used to read for modern was a summary of book that I got on Google back in 2013. So from that summary I made my own notes of 78 pages. Those are also uploaded on my blog. So that those notes plus the tables that are mentioned in Spectrum book along with that 40 odd pages from Lucent GK book. These three used to be my material for modern India. You can read Spectrum. If you are able to make notes out of Spectrum then very good. Revise those notes because it is a very good book. No doubt it is a good book but then it is tough to revise from Spectrum. So the idea should be that you must be able to revise each and everything that you are reading. So that is about history. Coming to geography, it is really advisable to read NCRTs of class 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th for geography. Apart from that you have to do GC Leong. It is must not only from the world geography point of view but also from the point of view of maps. In On my blog I have analyzed the uh, 59 different map questions that have been asked from 2013 to 2019 and many of them can be easily answered from GC Leong itself. So, 
you have done atlas or not you have read oxford atlas or, or not does not matter if you have read uh, gc leong thoroughly apart from that bajiram's yellow books are very good for geography i read them mm-hmm. back in 2013 14 and 15 i am not sure about the quality uh, of the book right now but then it was a good source back then you can have a look at that as well for mapping as i already told gc leong is important plus keep an eye on uh, the places in news for example israel or mediterranean region has been focused quite a lot uh, in upsc map questions of prelims so you have to do that plus atlas world atlas uh, that is oxford uh, read it very selectively see the analysis on my blog of prelims map based question and read it accordingly lastly for indian maps do uh, book by prem patel it is a very good book if you are from geography optional then it is a must must read to uh, must read for you so that is about geography next is economy now there are three uh, subjects economy environment and polity you have to read only one source uh, for each of them for environment shankar for economy shri ram book and for polity lakshmikant need not digress from these three sources these three sources are panacea as well as sufficient for the respective topics there is no need to wander beyond these three books uh, i have been getting queries on quora and telegram channel my telegram channel decode civils that is uh, ramesh singh a good source uh, frankly i haven't read the book and uh, shri ram book was enough for me to answer various questions of economy Uh, uh, apart from shri ram for economy you have to do current affairs and also read summary of budget and economic survey budget and economic surveys are not to be read cover to cover i repeat you do not have to read them cover to cover not for prelims not even not for mains all you have to do is read the summary so that you can use it in your answers for mains similarly if you have thoroughly read current affairs for prelims there is no need at all to read economic survey or budget separately from the prelims point of view you would be able to answer the question uh, shankar as i said for environment it is must apart from shankar keep an eye on the list of tribes uh, that are in news because uh, at times upsc has asked question related to tribes uh, as i already told for geography uh, prem patel map book so it has a list of wildlife centuries national parks etc mountains rivers at times there is very thin line between the questions of geography or environment uh, the line is very thin you cannot distinguish if it is a question of geography or environment so these mix questions can be answered very easily from prem patel map book and lastly polity polity you have to do from lakshmikant only you have to read the book cover to cover make notes out of it if possible your idea should be uh, if the book is 400 pages reduce the book to 100 pages reduce the content to 1/4 this is going to help in revising the book multiple times and also in mains when say you have only half a day bit, uh, and you have to revise gs2 so you will be able to revise all the static portions out of your notes unfortunately the notes that i made for uh, polity i lost them apart from polity all my notes are uploaded on my blog uh, so we have discussed five uh, topics that is history geography polity economy and environment next in line is science so it is very tricky how to prepare science for prelims as well as mains i would say that the cost benefit analysis of preparing science from prelims point of view is very less at least in mains you can guess a couple of questions that can be asked from science but uh, guessing prelims science question is just uh, impossible so be very careful what i used to read for science is only current affairs nothing about, nothing from coaching material uh, no textbook no ncert uh, anything just focus on current affairs now i'll be coming on current affairs part so uh, from 2016 upsc has been focusing too much on current affairs 
from uh, in prelims paper for example around 40 questions were asked from current 40 out of 100 in 2016 exam so you have to prepare current very well gone are those days when you needed to prepare only one year of current affair you have to focus at least 15 to 18 months of current affair you have to read at least 15 to 18 months of current affairs now what are the sources of current affairs see people will tell you to read Kuruksh kurukshetra yojana or india book uh, epw science reporter or pib etc etc but then if you read religiously three sources you do not you do not require to read the mentioned sources the sources that i just mentioned so those three sources are hindu newspaper vision monthly current affairs and insight secure compilation or insights daily news so if you are reading these three sources religiously thoroughly every single day of your preparation you are not required to do any other source now this will help you in keeping your material concise if you are focusing on concise material making notes out of it i guarantee that you will be able to cover at least 90 out of 100 percent of paper there is no point of reading 10 other books for 10 questions if you are reading india your book the book maybe it has 700 800 pages if 10 questions come from 700 or 800 pages of uh, so many words to remember i don't think the cost benefit analysis is good enough to focus on that book so focus on hindu vision and insights leave rest similarly as i said for economic survey you are not required to read economic survey as such read summaries available on coaching sites or uh, just google you will get ample links of summaries of economic survey etc so this is what you need to read concise material for prelims now how to read so say if you are reading an uh, reading a ncrt for first time do not mark anything as such in that book uh, during the first reading so in the first reading just take the stock of what the book has in your second reading mark or underline the important lines and make notes out of it third reading shouldn't be of the book third or fourth reading as you like it should be of the notes and not the book so just keep the book aside once you have made notes out of it trust me note making helps a lot it sets a strong foundation it will help you in mains unfortunately not everyone is able to clear uh, cse in their first attempt so if you have notes you do not need to start from scratch in your second attempt i'll wish that you clear in the first attempt itself but then you know the odds so you have to make notes uh, now once you have made notes i'll come to revision part uh, how you should divide the next five months that are available to you for preparation of prelims divide five months in four months plus one month and that last one month into 20 and 10 days in the first four months read the concise book list or the sources that you are reading the concise book list that i told you or the source whatever source that you are reading target should be that you are making notes as well so that in last one month in last 30 days you revise all the notes that you have made at least twice so in all you are reading the material at least thrice first in the four months then twice in last month in uh, 20 days and then 10 days so once you have revised the entire course material thrice i guarantee that if the uh, question asked was studied by you you will be able to answer it correctly if it is out of your notes then it is a different matter but then if it was in your notes you won't do a blunder you will be able to answer that question well so this is the revision part last one month is very important for prelims point of view more so the last 10 days are more important so keep the tough parts every aspirant has one or other weak area for example i used to face lot of troubles in ancient medieval and the list that are concerned with environment the tables that are given in spectrum the body's constitution uh, like ncw or uh, pse 
the constitution of those bodies i had a lot of trouble in remembering those so in the last 20 days or in last 10 days or last week i used to revise them twice so make note of your weak areas and focus more on them uh, just before the exam so that you are basically mugging it up there is nothing much to understand in such factual things so it is good that the those factual things remain fresh in your memory just before the exam now coming on to how to go by test how many tests you should attempt see you have 151 days 5 months or 22 weeks if you had started your preparation say one year ago ideally i would advise that a uh, aspirant preparing for one year should write one test per week so this would mean at least 50 tests for him or her now that you have only five months left or 22 weeks 20 tests won't be enough i won't paint a rosy picture here 20 tests are not enough you need to do at least 30 or 40 tests uh, i cleared prelims in 2013 14 and 15 i got ips rank in 2014 and 15 but then in 2016 i flunked prelims by some two marks in that attempt i didn't practice test enough so even after getting IPS rank twice, I couldn't clear prelims itself. In the next attempt, that is 2017 attempt, that was my fifth and last attempt, I practiced 43 test papers. I studied like a first attempt aspirant would study. So that is the importance of test. You have to solve at least 40 tests. Solving a test is one thing. Solving the test after preparation is just another thing. Do not attempt a test just like that, just, like, just for the sake of it. Study the syllabus of the test and then only attempt the test. There is no point in attempting a test without reading for it. Even if you are able to get 150 out of 200, but if you have not read, uh, you have not prepared and revised, I count that 150 as a failure. Because every day is not a Sunday, you won't be able to hit the bullseye in prelims if you haven't practiced enough, if you haven't studied hard. So you have to study and then only attempt test. Now attempting test also has various types, uh, various methods. For example, what I used to do, uh, I was preparing at home for my last attempt that is CSC 17. I wasn't able to focus. I wasn't able to sit for two hours and solve the entire paper all at once. What I used to do, I used to solve 10 questions and then check the answer of those 10 questions. So that is one method, one way of doing it. People, tend, uh, There are people who tend to solve a question, turn to the solutions. Solve another question, turn to solution. That is the wrong way. Do not do so. Do not solve one question and turn to the solution. Solve at least 10 questions at once then look the solutions of the those 10 questions then go about 10 to 20 20 to 30 and the best way as you know is to solve the test full test uh, full test all at once that will give you the feel of an uh, exam like environment that is very necessary so even if you are uh, solving uh, test in the way that i used to do solve 10 <laughs> questions at a time Try to ensure that you are solving at least uh, 10 tests in test-like environment. 10 tests at a stretch. That is that you sit for 2 hours and solve tests all at once, once and then evaluate. Regarding text, uh, test series, I found Insights test series very helpful. Those 43 tests that I, am, uh, that I just talked about, uh, you can find them at Google. There is a site. Uh, exam.org i do not know if it is functional now or not but back in 2017 i found 43 test papers of insights on that site so i didn't have to join a test series as such you really do not need to join test series for prelims anywhere just buy the test from market or google find them online take a printout and then solve at your home uh, trust me there is nothing like checking your rank as such just you can you can have a small study circle group of four or five uh, like-minded friends who are solving the same test just compare your score with them 
I frankly do not think that you need to uh, check the score from uh, uh, you need to uh, evaluate yourself with hundred other, other people five or six sample uh, size is good enough so you do not need to join test series buy test from market and solve them so what we have discussed is what to study how to study importance of revision uh, which test series you need to join or not join uh, how many tests you have to do how to solve test papers lastly what matters is your confidence on that day uh, do not read newspaper uh, one more thing that i forgot to mention uh, do not read newspaper for last 20 days prelims paper is most probably set by then for example if your prelims this year are on 31st of may you can stop reading newspaper by 5th or 10th of may there is no point stretching beyond that so what matters on last of last day is to stay cool stay confident about your preparation hold your nerves there are many others uh, who might be over confident or under confident or nervous just like you so you are not the first you are not the last what matters on that day is how well you have uh, you have held your nerves so this is all about um, prelims preparation of gs coming on to csat i really do not have much to talk about csat because i was from engineering background so personally i never found it uh, tough to handle csat but then i have been getting queries regarding how to prepare for csat so for csat i would advise that look at the previous papers that is the seven papers that have been held from 2013 to 2019 solve those papers and prepare accordingly so there is no point reading uh, again idea is same read concise material if you want to read for csat there is no point reading uh, volumes of coaching material or uh, different books for csat first see the previous or question papers try to solve them try to analyze where you stand and then prepare from book uh, that mentions like uh, the questions like upsc has asked do not prepare too much for csat it is just a qualifying paper i guess uh, it is still the same that is you have to score 33% scoring 33% in csat is not tough even for non engineering students so do not make it uh, make it tough for yourself by overdoing csat just stay confident so uh, that is all that i wanted to say mm. this was a session on prelims so we'll be having a session on mains answer writing as well where i'll be discussing my strategies uh, which helped me crack mains four out of four times uh, with a margin of uh, 120 to 130 marks above cutoff in coming weeks thank you